Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So Asus is back with another new budget category affordable laptop with some really good features for the price point and in this video I'm going to unbox it and give my full review on the product. This is Asus brand new 2019 VivoBook X509. It's an entry level laptop from the company and comes with some nice features like it's got a full HD nano edge display, dedicated Nvidia GPU, a fingerprint scanner and much more. So the laptop comes in this sort of box packing. Guys, one more thing I'd like to mention, I'm not yet sure about the pricing details about this product because this product was under embargo while making this video. But I do know that this is a budget category affordable entry level laptop and comes with a very reasonable price tag. We'll talk about the pricing details at a later part in the video. The model of the laptop we'll be reviewing today is VivoBook X509FJ. It comes in a lot of variants like from i3 to i7. The model we have is the higher spec i7 variant. We've got the specs of this product over here. Let me show you. It's got a 15.6 inch full HD display, has 2 gigs of VRAM, is powered by Intel's 8th gen i7 8565U CPU, has 1 TB 5400 RPM hard disk, 4 plus 4 GB dual channel DDR4 RAM, and comes with a 2 cell 32 watt hour battery. So, those were all the specs of the product. Now, let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the box. Alright, let's open it and finally check out the product. So on opening the box, we've got the Vivo Book laptop at the top. Let me just take it out. As you can see, it comes nicely packed in a cotton bag just like the other Asus laptops. And also it doesn't feel that heavy in the hand. And here it is guys, our brand new 2019 Asus Vivo Book X509 laptop. We've got it in the slate grey color. And wow, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look like a budget laptop from my first impressions. We'll come back to the laptop again. First, let me also show you what else do we get in the box packing. We've got some paperwork over here which includes a user manual and a quick start guide. Make sure to read them. A power adapter for charging the laptop. It's a 19 volt 3.42 amp adapter. And a mains cord for the power adapter. That's it, these were all the items we got in the package. Let me just keep them aside and show you the product. So this is how the new VivoBook X509 budget laptop from ASUS looks like. Wow, it's got a nice design, we've got a silver ASUS logo at the center and I really like this smooth and sleek finish on the top panel, gives a premium feel to this laptop. It's also quite compact and lightweight, weighs only around 1.9 kgs in the hand. Talking about the build quality, the build quality looks pretty good, the body is entirely made of high quality plastic. But I do have to say the construction of the laptop feels solid even though it's made of plastic. Ok now let me give you an overview on the laptop and show you all the available connectivity ports. On the left side there's a DC in port, a USB 3.1 Type-C port, an exhaust vent, a HDMI port and a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port. Going to the other side, you've got some status LED indicators, which includes a charging LED indicator, a power indicator, a micro SD card slot, a 3.5mm audio jack, two USB 2.0 ports, and finally a Kensington lock. That's it, these are all the available connectivity ports. There's nothing on the front, let me also quickly show you the bottom side. So this is how the bottom part looks like. As I've told you earlier, even the bottom panel is made of plastic and has a nice textured feel to it. We've got some details regarding the product at the center, some rubber foot pads on all the corners and has two down firing stereo speakers powered by ASUS Sonic Master technology. Well that's it guys, that was our complete overview on all the sides. Now let me open it and give you all an inside view of the laptop. Ok, we've got a piece of paper here, let me remove it. So this is the new 2019 VivoBook X509. Holy moly, this thing looks good! Just look at that display guys. It's got a 15.6 inch Full HD LED backlit nano edge display. And I have to say the bezels on this display are quite thin, especially considering that this is a budget category laptop. It's got a two sided nano edge display with only 7mm thick bezels on the sides to offer a much more immersive experience while using. We've got the ASUS branding on the bottom, a VGA webcam at the top and some sensors beside that. We also have a sticker over here that says Full HD 1080p display. So that was about the upper half. And going to the lower half, this is how it looks like. It's got a similar layout just like the previous gen vivo book. The X509 has a full size chiclet keyboard and a large touchpad with a fingerprint scanner just below the keyboard. Ok before I give you all a closer look and talk about the display and all that, let me first tell you about the keyboard and the touchpad. 
The VivoBook X509 has a full-sized keyboard with a dedicated number pad on the right. It's got an ergonomic design with a sturdy one-piece construction to offer a comfortable experience while using. Talking about my experience using it, the X509 offers a pretty good keyboard for the price. It offers a key travel of 1.4mm and the quality of the keys is also nice. They feel soft and clicky. I was quite satisfied with the typing experience on this keyboard. But the only thing I felt this thing lacked was LED backlighting. Apart from that, everything else was fine. And talking about the touchpad, the touchpad quality is good. It feels smooth while using and easily recognizes gestures and all my finger movements. Also, I didn't face any sort of dead zones anywhere. The touchpad also has two integrated left and right click buttons and the quality of these buttons were good. The best part about this touchpad is it also comes with a fingerprint scanner. So using Windows Hello, you can easily log into Windows with just a single touch. That is awesome, right? Well, that was about the keyboard and the touchpad. Now let me tell you about the display quality. The VivoBook X509 comes with a 15.6 inch LED backlit Full HD 1080p display and offers up to 45% NTSC color gamut. The display looks quite nice considering the price point. And I have to say I really like this two-sided 9 edge display. It's got only 7mm bezels on the sides and makes the screen look much more immersive. The display is sharp, bright and the colors also look decent. But again guys, keep in mind one thing that this is an affordable entry level laptop. So don't expect IPS level quality or colors from this display. For the price what we are paying, it was doing a good job. Even the dynamic range was also good. As you can see, we got good amount of details in both the shadow and the highlight areas. You will definitely enjoy watching content on this laptop. But the only thing I was not that satisfied was with the vertical viewing angles. The horizontal viewing angles were fine, it offers 178 degree wide viewing angles. And the display looked nice. But when viewed from the top or the bottom angle, the display gets completely washed out and doesn't look that good. Apart from that, I had no other issues with the display. Now let me tell you about the audio. The new 2019 VivoBook comes with down-firing stereo speakers powered by Sonic Master technology. The speaker quality was decent. The audio sounded crisp and clear with very minimum distortion even at max volume. But I felt the audio output was not that loud. It was a bit less. Wish it could produce a little more sound. Just check out this audio clip. lenses play like the major role in getting them. Uh, no matter how expensive camera you have or what sort of camera equipment you use, you're not going to get them without these anamorphic lenses. But the thing is, these anamorphic lenses are so expensive that even if you sell one or both of your kidneys, you can't afford them. Okay, now let's jump into the benchmarks. My VivoBook X509 is powered by Intel's 8th Gen i7-8565U, which is a 4-core 8-thread CPU and has Nvidia's dedicated MX230 GPU with 2GB of VRAM. On Geekbench 4, it got a single-core score of 5060 and a multi-core score of 14387. And on OpenCL, we got a score of around 35,950. The laptop was performing great on day-to-day -day tasks like browsing the web with multiple tabs open, streaming videos and stuff like that. With 8 gigs of RAM, it's also capable of handling light photo and video editing. Talking about gaming, it's not made for gaming guys, but yes, you can also play some basic games on it like CSGO, Dota 2, at 1080p medium graphic settings with decently good frame rates. I've also tried playing PUBG on it and the game was just playable at 720p resolution when the graphic quality was set between low and medium settings. So don't expect that you'll play high-end games with good frame rates on this laptop. The X509 was not made for that purpose. Alright, now let me finally tell you about the battery life. The VivoBook X509 comes with a 2-cell 32 watt hour battery and the battery life was quite good during my testing. When you use the laptop for day-to-day -day tasks like browsing the web, streaming videos and simple stuff like that at 50-60% to brightness, you'll easily get around 4.5-5 to five hours of battery life. But the best part is, it also supports fast charging. You can charge this laptop up to 60% in just 49 minutes, just like the previous gen VivoBook. Well, that's it guys, that was my video on ASUS VivoBook 15 X509F. It's a good laptop on a budget, especially for college students and also office work. It's got powerful hardware on the inside, love the premium finishing, has a fingerprint scanner also and offers decently good battery life. The only few things I felt the company could improve was the display quality, especially the vertical viewing angles. They should try to provide an IPS panel at least on the higher end i7 variant and also the audio output could have been slightly higher. Rest everything else was fine. 
Coming to the pricing details, as I've told you, I'm not yet sure about the exact pricing of this product, as this laptop was under embargo while making this video. But depending on the previous gen VivoBooks, I guess the pricing for the basic i3 variant model will be around 30,000 rupees in India. And the model I have, which is the i7 variant with MX230 GPU, will be priced somewhere around 55,000 rupees. I'll let you know the exact pricing details as soon as I get them in the comment section down below. So, what do you guys think about this laptop? Is it a yay or a nay? Do let me know in the comment section down below. So, that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.